It's Sunday 23rd of February and I'm starting to prepare to match Bambi up hopefully with a neutered female Belgian hair cross although one is a rabbit one is a hare and there's significant differences I'm hoping perhaps Bambi will accept her but we're not going to know until we try so he's probably going to be a little bit upset with the process because I'm going to have to bring in a pen um, to put the female in because it's out of the question to try them in neutral because Bambi will not like that at all so I've got to try and bring the female into his area but within another area so they can't actually get at each other or fight or anything like that so and see if you'll get used to her and her to him of course so little does he know what's in store Well, Bunny is now in her temporary accommodation, tucking straight into broccoli, as you can probably see. Not at all bothered. I don't think Bambi has even noticed that there is somebody else in here. He just is unhappy about the pen and the fact I'm filming. His feet are good clean. He really splays those hind feet out, doesn't he? Yeah. Just like a hand. That's his back foot, of course. seen him do that before, it's interesting. So it's just over the hour since I brought the female in here. And things are progressing pretty much as I expected they would. I'll be throwing a complete strop to start with. Nothing to do with the rabbit but to do with the cage arriving and me filming and all those things. And then I'm calming down quite a lot and being bored with it all. And then as night is approaching, he's starting to become active because of course hairs are more active. It's sort of dusk. And when it's dark actually, he's a lot more lively in the hours of darkness. He's talking into a celery now. Don't know if you can hear that. It's certainly munching I can hear from here. First encounter. Well, it's now uh, the next morning. Everything looks very quiet. Female like she's been chucking her basket around a little bit. I'm just going to let her out for a run around and see what happens. Oh, 
This must be the biggest non-event of the year so far. <laughs> I don't think he was impressed with that, do you? <laughs> Unfortunately, my battery on the camera is almost flat, so I'm going to have to stop filming in a minute. Now that was quite clear. Get lost, I think, was the message he gave her. Right, we're now mid-afternoon on the first proper day of the female being in with Bambi. I'm going to let her out again. Run around. And he's waiting in anticipation. Stand still. Bambi's watching me. Bambi's not impressed with her, is he? What did he do? He went to box her because she came too near. Don't you like her, Bambi? slightly. I don't think he's really interested unless she goes too near. If she goes too near he'll come out and box her. What's she doing? She's thinking, she's happy. <laughs> wow, that was good dodging Rick. Mm. Even Bambi couldn't get you. This Bambi like put his hands down just as she dodged out of the way. Are hairs quicker than uh, rabbits, or rabbits quicker than hairs? What? How does it work? Well, in the wild, a rabbit will go down a burrow, won't it, to get away. Just a hare just a run. hare will run. For its life. So, burst of speed, I expect hares will win each time. They will try and stay very still and yeah. use their camouflage. Right. When are you going to put it back in? It's early evening on the first full day that the female has been in the AV. Bambi is out having his supper. Bambi's not at all bothered unless she comes too close. And that seems to be the only time that he gets a bit concerned and gets quite cross with her. Our little disabled dove is out at the moment as well. She can probably see just on the floor there. We've had her now about four years. She was handed in. She'd been caught by a hawk. Very, very badly damaged. And to be honest, I didn't think she would survive. And we just sort of kept her comfortable and treated her. <laughs> She's been told off. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, the hawk damaged the wing of the dove so badly that she will never be able to fly. Um, 
and I did wonder about whether she should be put to sleep but um, I would say apart from when I'm in here the dove's actually very happy and wanders about and isn't bothered at all. Clearly doesn't like a rabbit being in here as well as a hare. You can see the wing on one side is absolutely fine, on the other side uh, it's not very good. All the ligaments and tendons were completely destroyed. See, there seems to be just a general acceptance of each other at the moment. But she got too close and she was told off. Can't blame him, it's his Avery. Okay.